I wonder what she's up to, you know? So I put those white pebbles in there on purpose just to see what she does with it because I gave her this snail um, leftover, what do you call that? When snails die and you get the shell, snail shell, whatever. So I gave it to her and then she started playing around with it. So I was fascinated by her behavior so I decided to give her a little little white pebbles and see if she uses them to build her, you know, decorate her house or, you know, nearby her house. I guess she's trying to figure out what these actually are because this tank is actually covered in, in sand, black sand as you can see. But I guess she'll try to find a place to put these white pebbles and maybe she comes come back to to have her place decorated yeah it seems as if she's checking it out so as you guys can see I have recently got new crayfishes so it's my first time ever getting crayfishes I've never had crayfish before but I guess I could refer them to as lobsters because in this hobby you know people don't necessarily uh, call them crayfishes, you can actually call them lobsters but lobsters, there aren't any freshwater lobsters, they're all crayfishes but I just like to call them lobsters maybe I can just name her lobster her name is lobster from now but anyway, I recently got her about a week ago and I didn't start filming her and her fellow friends in other tank which I will show you guys in a second because I had to focus on how to set up her tank and I didn't make any pro I didn't want to make any promises uh, with you guys on setting up their their tanks in certain way so I just wanted to focus on providing them the best housing and the environment and then go from there so right now I'm trying to figure out their whole behavior and everything like that because like I said this is my first time ever owning a crayfish so this is my 20 gallon tank and my crayfish just loves it. I first had about three crayfishes in here uh, and I took one out early because the size was too small and then I had another blue electric blue male in here but they as you can see this is a female there you go focus hurry hurry focus you little horrible camera there you go it's a female, yeah, absolutely a female, you know, just had to show you guys that. But yeah, so I had a male in here along with her, but uh, she, the female had way larger of a, of a claw that she, you know, she was fighting so ferociously that I had to move him out to a different tank. So he's actually in this tank right now. Um, doing pretty well. It's hiding and eating about and whatnot. But yeah, this this 20 gallon tank is only dedicated to her. So she's very happy. She's all around the tank like this all the time. She's in, out, all all over, over the tank. And there are a couple of guppy fries in here just to, you know, maintain this tank. And a couple of shrimps in there as well. Just to maintain it, you know, eat the leftover food if there's any to eat and if you pan over this way this is another 20 gallon tank that I have for my crayfishes but this tank didn't exactly look the way it does now before um, I made sure to make it like this because I figured that they, their behavior is they just hide into their in, in their houses the second you put them in there so it's very difficult to see them, but I wanted to observe them. That's what I do once I get get any new friends in my aquarium. I I observe them and I study them. I study their behavior. I read all about it and I compare my readings to their actual behavior just so that I know what I'm dealing with and just so that I can, you know, provide them the best kind of environment. So there's, there's one there, and there's one, one right there just hanging out about, and there's one in this corner. Yeah, just hiding underneath that little thing. But as you can see, you can tell I read a bunch of articles and whatnot. 
by looking at this tank, there are a bunch of hide there. There are pipes, ho houses, hiding spots under the filter, and a lot. I'm sorry about the reflection, but there are a lot of hiding spots in here. So this is exactly the exactly the definition of of a crayfish tank that anyone could ever ask for. Open environment here on in the front, so you can actually view it. And you know the housing space is in there, and the light isn't too bright either. So since there's so much reflection going on, I'll try to film from this side. But I provide them as much air as possible, oxygen in the tank, because that's what you need in their tank. Uh, if you're not going to have any space above the water for them to come up to, then providing them air is the best way to maintain the best tank for these guys. And I have one friend in there, um, found this house the first. Uh, he, he was, I think it's a she actually, the first one to being here, so she claimed it, but doing absolutely great, absolutely love it. But this is another 20 gallon tank, and you know, this tank is, is as great as, as it looks, you know, the, the crayfish in here loves it. And I have one more crayfish tank in here, I have a couple more that I'm going to show you, but this is one of them, and this tank is very clean. I wanted to go for a white theme, a very clean look. So I can, I have, you know, I can see my crayfish from wherever it hides. So it's actually in there. I don't know if you can see it. But there it is. That's a female. It was mating the day that I brought her, brought her to my place. So I separated her and I'm going to watch if she actually gets buried and if she does then that's great and for the future in case any of these guys gets buried I'm going to move them whichever that gets buried into this 10 gallon tank that I set up yesterday with amazing filter two filters actually great for aeration as well for that sponge filter and a hiding space in there and some great algae little structure here and food dish so it doesn't make too much mess but this is a going to be more likely a what do you call a fish tank that's for breeding purposes but it's already it's for babies so baby crayfish tank whatever but yeah so I have a couple of tanks set up and then you come over here this is the main tank that you see when you walk in into this you know, shrimp farm. This tank used to be really messy, but now it's super organized. As you can see, it's very nice. And I have a perfect hiding spot for these guys, perfect home for these guys. I actually have one in there, it's very dark. Let's see if I can get it. There's in, one in there, and there's two somewhere down there. Somewhere in there. I think there's one in there actually, right there. If this camera can get it, you see right, right, right there. But anyway, it's kind of difficult to get it. But yeah, so this is one of the tank, and one lastly, this is going to be the a tank where the buried crayfish will come in, so they can you know lay eggs, and those baby crayfishes can do. It's a little like murky. A little like um, you know it's not as clear as these tanks because it's a brand new tank and I changed the water and the substrate produces a lot of like hasty dirt kind of look but yeah so these are you know my crayfish tanks I just wanted to show you guys these tanks before I do any more videos regarding my crayfishes because I will in the future but I think these setups are the way that these tanks will look for a long time only because it just looks the way I want them to look. Simple, neat and I can literally see everything from this standing point and it has everything it needs. The perfect filtration system, enough air so that I don't have to you know, cut the water off halfway the tank and that looks ugly and a stable heater. So yeah, so uh, I will do more videos on these guys in terms of, you know, feeding or mating or breeding in the future. So, you know, look out for those videos and thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.